Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're continuing on with the 2009 AP Calculus exam. So let's take a look. We're on the third free response question here, and remember, this is still a calculator portion. So the Mighty Cable Company manufactures cables that sell for $120 per meter. For a cable of fixed length, the cost of producing a portion of the cable varies with its distance from the beginning of the cable. Uh, okay. Mightily reports that the cost to produce a portion of cable that is x meters from the beginning of the cable is 6 root x dollars per meter. Note profit is defined to be the difference between the amount of money received by the company for selling the cable and the company's cost of producing the cable. Find Mighty Mike's profit on the scale, sale of a 25 meter cable. Okay, so they sell it for 120 meters. So um, the profit is always like, like revenue minus cost is the way you think of it. The revenue... Like how much did he earn for the, the, the this thing? They sell this for 120 times 25, right? And that's uh, 3,000. The cost is tricky. I know the rate of cost is this dollars per meter, but I have to add up all of those, that rate from zero to uh, uh, zero to 25 meters, right? And that's because each of these is dollars per meter. So I got to integrate it. Like this is the rate, so to speak, of the, the, the cost of the, you know, it, like if it was a, if it was a constant value, this is what I would do. I would just integrate from zero to 25 of like 120, right? But uh, this, this, this cost varies as a function of T. So what should we do? Should we, let's see, why don't we, why don't we use our calculator again? Just so you can guys see how I enter it into the calculator. Let's window it. I want to go from 0 to 25. Make it 5. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to go between 0 and like 6 is the biggest it's going to be. Because it's going to like, well, it's going to increase. Square to like 30. So we'll go up to 50. Make it scale by 5. I want to calculate the integral. So lower limit zero, upper limit is twenty-five. About five hundred. Okay, so their profit is the difference between they two. So this minus this, they make twenty-five hundred dollars. Okay. Using correct units to explain the meaning of this in the context of the problem. And the problem uh, for B, it would be the added cost to go from 25 meter cable to 30 meters. Write an expression involving an integral that represents Mighty's profit in the sale of the cable that is k meters long. Uh, the profit on the sale. So instead of 25, it's just I just plug in 120k. That's how much they sell it for. Minus um, the cost of it. It's zero to k. Six root x dx. Okay, that would be the profit of x, or profit as a function of k. Do you find the maximum profit that Mighty could earn on the sale of one cable and justify your answer? Um, well, the maximum is when I want to maximize P. So I'm going to take the derivative of this with respect to K. I get 120 minus the derivative of this with respect to K by the fundamental theorem of calculus is 6 root K. That has to equal 0. This should make sense. It's sort of like the rate that I sell it for, like should like when when it is matched by how much it costs that's when i maximize my profit because eventually it's going to start costing more than 120 dollars per meter and after that point i'll start losing money so i want to find this exact point so 120 equals 6 root k 20 equals root k and so k would equal 400 and this would be the maximum because at this point because because this is an increasing function so like eventually this is going to be more expensive and so uh then 120 
120 do meter dollars per meter. Okay, all right, that's pretty quick. Let's look at this one. $2,500. Mm, difference in cost of producing a cable length of 30 meters and 25 meters. Profit is that, good. Oh, I didn't calculate the actual maximum profit. I only calculate when, when it occurred. Th like this is, this is K, but I gotta plug it back into here. So 120 times 400 minus the integral from zero to 400, six root X DX. Let's just do this integral the long way. Um, this would be 48, one, two, three, minus six over root X, was over two root X? No, 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 uh, X to the one half, oh, that's the derivative, my bad. So what I tried to do for X to the one half, the integral of this is um, add one, divide, so two thirds, X to the three halves. So it'd be six times two thirds x to the three halves from zero to four hundred. So this is four. Four x to the three halves. Let's do that. Um, Forty-eight one two three minus four times four hundred raised to the eight halves or one point five. Sixteen thousand. So I didn't actually calculate, I messed up, I forgot to actually calculate what the actual profit was. That's always important. Check to see what they're asking for, make sure you're doing that right. But still, I hope you guys found that helpful on the problem solving. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.